Instead of worrying about movie auditions, maybe you should focus on defending your Raw Women's Championship. Thanks for the advice, but I'm confident I can handle both. Maybe you feel that way because you've been facing subpar competition since you won that title last year. So how about you step up and take on someone who can actually challenge you? Who do you have in mind? Is that a serious question? I'm talking about the EST of WWE. I'll see you in the ring. Championship, Red has defended her title against all challengers. This is the first time, however, that she faces an opponent with the athleticism of Bianca Belair. You know, it sounds cliche, but these two are driven to be the best. That alone should create an ultra-competitive matchup tonight. If Red takes this likely, not only could she part ways with her title, she could also become the new EST of WWE, as in latest to lose to Bianca Belair. Driven down. On the apron, I do not like this at all. I agree, Byron, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be nasty. Wait a minute. No way, no way. Yes way. Apron suplex. But champions need to finish the job. The situation just got rid of the pin top. Bodies must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point, the champion retains. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Check this out. Really a solid, bordering on great performance. Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, the Player. Wow, big win right there. I've been witnessing what I don't know if you've heard, but there's auditions coming up for Rank and File 4, and I could really use your help. You've come to the right man. Not only have I starred in several movies, but it just so happens I'm a certified acting coach in over 17 states and three U.S. territories. So is this one of the states you're certified to teach in? Sure. But before I greenlight your acceptance to my seminar, I need to know if you have what it takes to make it in Hollywood. So if you can beat me in a match tonight and then make three easy cash only payments of $99.95, we'll be in business, man. I guess I need to find an ATM. I like your confidence. Now let's see if you can handle yourself in the ring. We've been informed this match has a rather unusual stipulation. If Trey can defeat our truth, the truth will give Trey acting lessons to prepare for an upcoming audition. Hey, I've seen a lot of different matches over the years, but this is a first. Look, is our truth even qualified to teach acting? I mean, I'd like to see a certification because something tells me it doesn't exist. Well, putting the legitimacy of our truth's credentials aside, that's what's on the line for Trey tonight. He's not looking good here, guys. Suplex. Evading possible disaster. And I think we just might see. Pope Suicida. Head to the pay window. Our truth is just getting overwhelmed. Awesome. Bringing it back into the ring. He's got him covered. Somehow, our truth has an answer. Able to dig deep and stay alive. Reversal. Here's the cover. Cover. Shoulders are down. One, two, oh, somehow. Not quite. Looking to end this. Omega driver. And he goes for the pin. One, two, three. The match is over. That's all she wrote. Here is your winner, the superstar. 
You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. These Thanks again for helping me out. Quiet on the set. The director always has complete authority. Actors will only speak when spoken to. Sorry. And you probably don't need the megaphone since I'm like three feet away. Never question the decision of a director or someone pretending to be a director. My bad. Now, as a certified acting coach, the first thing I need to teach you is about visualization. I want you to close your eyes. Good. Now imagine you're in an office, ranking various items from best to worst. And then you place those rankings in a very important file. But when you come back from lunch, the file is gone. How does that make you feel? How is this relevant? Aren't the rank and file movies, workplace, dramas? Full disclosure, I've never seen any of them. Uh, they're action films about rank and file soldiers who ignore their commanding officer's orders so they can rise to the occasion and stop the enemy. You know, with badass fight scenes and heart-wrenching suspense. Oh, well, there goes everything I had planned. I did think there was a lot of explosions in the script for a film about office work. Wait, you have the script? I thought the director wasn't letting anyone see it for fear that the producers of Soldier 5 might get a hold of it and copy its intricate and highly unique plot points. Any good actor steals the strip. I, I mean, acquires it before an audition. Here, memorize these lines. It will give you a leg up on the competition. Now give those back to me. I need to destroy the evidence. I, 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 I mean, put the strip back where I just happened to find it. And that concludes my seminar. I hope I have provided you with a solid foundation to begin your acting career. And if you take one thing away from this, just remember, your next payment is due in six days. Good luck, man. Sorry. Uh, but I'm just a little nervous with the star of the rank-and-file franchise here. Oh, don't mind me. I just wanted a sneak peek at what's gonna end up on the blooper reel. You'll be fine. Besides, pressure makes diamonds. Or in this case, comedy gold. So I know you didn't give out script pages before the auditions, but when do I get to see the lines? You don't, because you're going off book. I want you to feel it here by completely immersing yourself in the character. Now I'll read a line and you tell me what our hero's response should be. This should be good. The antidote is hidden in the vending machine, but it's jammed. Looks like we're gonna need to buy a lot of candy if we wanna get sweet revenge. Perfect. That's exactly what I was envisioning. Now let's continue. I saw it in a vision when I was dead. They're in a building that has a large white star on it. Also, your grandfather says hi, and that he approves of your lifestyle. Yes! You absolutely nailed it! Beginner's luck. Okay, last one. The bomb is wired inside of Chloe's jet ski. So you're going to have to make a decision. Stay here so I don't get away, or go save her and a bunch of innocent dolphins. What's it going to be? I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Those are bomb-disabling dolphins. So the only one who's gonna be sleeping with the fishes is you. Brilliant! It's almost like you saw the script ahead of time. Unbelievable! Maybe you could play gang member number two or henchman number five. Not anyone with an actual name. <laughs> okay, miss. Now that Trey has dazzled me with his intuitive performance, it's your turn to audition. Are you kidding? This must be a prank, right? Did they bring back Swerved? No, this isn't a joke. But I'm the star of the rank and file franchise. You can't potentially recast me. I even have a Bryce Decker tattoo on my inner left thigh. I thought this so-called audition was just a part of your stupid hippity dippity process. I assure you, it's very real. So if you're that confident in your ability, then please show me. Fine. But can I at least see the script pages? 
That wouldn't be fair. I want you to feel it here. Don't touch me! Don't mind me. Sit down, shut up, and watch how a real Hollywood star performs this part. Proceed, director. The terrorists are inside the arena, disguised as the opening band. You need to do something to stop them. We need to create a diversion. What kind of concert is this? Rock, country, hip hop? I could really use some context. Don't worry about all that, just immerse yourself in the character. Yeah, Miz. Immerse. Shut up. I think the only way we're gonna stop them is if we band together. Uh, puns are a bit too expected and broad for my taste. Too broad? A few minutes ago, this no-talent hack was babbling on about bomb-disabling dolphins. It rang true when he said it. Look, in the spirit of positivity, I think it's time for you to move on to a new artistic challenge. This is unbelievable. You'll be getting a call from my agent, my entertainment lawyer, and my regular lawyer. I actually don't have a phone, but I'd be happy to meet with them in person at my treehouse in the woods outside of Austin. Unbelievable! I'll call you. I, I just made up that whole treehouse thing to get rid of him. Brilliant. <laughs>